Welcome back to the channel. Let's get right into it. Over here I'm on the Fiori Launchpad and to display the document flow in SAP s using Fiori, we navigate to the application called Display Document Flow. This one over here, select this application and as you can see we are forwarded to this overview page. Over here we can select the document type first. So as you can see we have lots of different document types we can choose from. So we can choose, for instance, a sales document, a delivery, a manufacturing order, or also a supplier invoice, material document, or journal entry. Let's for now say sales document. And then you can see here, we must include a sales document. So click on the search help over here. And now you can see different sales documents. Let me just select one. Now we press on go. And as you can see, the detailed view opened. We have two different tabs one for the operational document flow and then a separate one for the general ledger document flow. Let's start with the former one. As you can see over here, the document flow is being displayed. In this instance, it starts with a sales order, then there's a delivery, a goods issue and then a billing. And as you can see right now, the sales order is highlighted. I could click on this one, then the next one would be highlighted and so on. Also, if I select, for instance, here, the sales document, you can see we could always collapse the view. So now only the delivery, logistic and billing document is being displayed. I can do this for each and every document. Let's expand it for now. Then we can click here and also we can collapse like that. So now only the sales document is being displayed. If I would do it here for the outbound delivery, then you can see always the consecutive documents are being hidden. Then you can see over here, we can also inspect the details via this button. And from these details, we can directly navigate, for instance, into the sales order if necessary. Last but not least, you can see here, we can click on this little wizard symbol to highlight the neighbors. So the direct neighbor would be the outbound delivery. However, if we select, for instance, the invoice over here, and clicked on direct neighbor, you can see it's not a good issue, it's the outbound delivery and so on. Also in some instances, you can now see here, there's a downwards pointing arrow, scroll to related general ledger documents. So here, whenever there is a relationship between our operational document and the general ledger, we can click here. And now you can see we are in the GL document flow. And here you can see the respective journal entries for, in this instance, our invoice. And over here it's the same. You can see the document flow for the accounting documents, the initial journal entry and then the consecutive ones. And if we compare those two, you can see most of the buttons are similar. However, the search help you can see over here is like a free text field to search, for instance, as you can see here by different criteria. And over here, we can even display a dimension like now it's the fiscal year. We can change to company code view or also to the ledger view. Then you can see more documents are being displayed. And depending on the dimension I set over here, you can see that our secondary filter will change. So company code, the filter would be company code. For the fiscal year, the filter would be the fiscal year. And for the ledger, the filter would be the ledger. Okay, let's go back to fiscal year. Also from here, I could click on display as T accounts. So this would actually bring me to another application displaying the documents in a T account view. I will show you this application in another session. Then you can see here there's a settings icon where we can display even more information if necessary. Also here we can use the free text search and then this counts for both the operational and also the GL account document flow. We can inspect further details via the legend button, as you can see. We can also increase or decrease the size of the document flow. And we can even click here zoom to fit so that the system will automatically choose a size where all of the documents can be displayed without the need to scroll to the right. Here it makes more sense. As you can see, I would need to scroll a lot to the right. However, if I select zoom to fit, you can see now everything is being displayed in the same screen, so to say. Last but not least, you can also see we can change here between our 
graphical view and our list view. So now the information is being displayed in kind of a table structure. So far, so good. Let's now inspect another example. Not a sales document, but we will take a journal entry. Because for the journal entry, it's a bit special. You can see over here, I can now search for journal entries. Let me just choose a company code and the fiscal year. And now you can see we have here, for instance, one and the same journal entry, however, for different ledgers. So let's just choose this one, then we hit on go. And now as you can see, there is no operational document flow because we are just in the journal entry view. However, in the GL document flow, the journal entry is being displayed. Let me just adjust the size and you can see it like that. And we can do the same also as I told you for other documents if we like. Or we can also say all document types and then we must insert a document number so that the information is being displayed. Note that here we don't have the option to utilize the search help. Okay, this marks the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. See you next time.